Welcome back to Minister Minute. The topic for today is let stuff go. Mark 11, 25 to 26 says, And when ye stay in praying, forgive if ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. Folks, sometimes we forget the severity of unforgiveness. Me included, we all sometimes get upset with people. We get mad. We get frustrated. Maybe it's somebody on the job. Maybe it's somebody at school. Trust me. I, uh, trust me. I know. But we can't continue to hold grudges towards these people. Because the thing is, how is God going to forgive us if we can't forgive others? Trust me, in the eyes of God, we have done so much wrong. We may uh, appear to be a good person on on the outward parts to other people, but to the almighty God who knows all and sees all, we know that we have fallen short many, 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 many times. But if God in all his mercy can still forgive us for all of our mess, all of our sin, all of our iniquity, those things that we know about and those things we thought we hid away, God knows it all. If he could forgive us for all of these terrible things we've done over these past years even sometimes the past few days past few seconds minutes of our lives if god could forgive us for all of our foolishness all of our sinfulness why can't we forgive our brother why can't we forgive our sister i'm sorry they offended you i'm sorry they looked at you in a different way but if god could forgive us why can't we forgive others we need to let stuff go folks we can't have true peace we can't have true happiness. We can't truly have the joy of God's salvation if we're continuing to hold on to stuff. Let it go. This message may be for me today. Let stuff go. Don't continue to hold it on. It's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt that other person. That person may not even know they did something to you. Let it go. Have it like water under the bridge. Let it go. We don't want to forfeit God's forgiveness. If God is willing to forgive us, we should be willing to forgive others.